Midweek in early June, we visited Yosemite, one of the oldest and most spectacularly scenic national parks our country has to offer. We found this time frame to be ideal for limiting crowds, experiencing moderate temperatures, and witnessing tremendous water flow over the iconic falls in the park. These are the sites we visited to make the most of our two days in the park. We traveled to Yosemite using the south entrance and the long, dark Wawona Tunnel. It is immediately upon the tunnel's exit that we were taken aback by the expansive views of Yosemite Valley. But a turnout immediately to the left allowed us to take it all in. This is the off-replicated viewpoint used by artists galore and was partly made famous by the iconic black and white photo by Ansel Adams. I'm just gonna compare it. See if it's accurate. Fact check it, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Well, first of all, your first problem is you've got color in the falls. The view looks eastward into the valley with El Capitan on the left, Half Dome in the background, and Bridal Veil Fall on the right. The site even has a 3D metal sculpture replicating the renowned valley. What tunnel view does from the valley floor, Glacier Point does from 3,200 feet higher. On the south wall of the Yosemite Valley, this viewpoint gives a bird's eye look at some of the most famous landmarks, including Yosemite Falls, Half Dome, Vernal Fall, Nevada Fall, and Curry Village. Glacier Point is reached by the seasonal Glacier Point Road a winding pass that reaches the 7,200 foot elevation and trailheads for both the Four Mile Trail and the Panorama Trail. Each of these will take you to the valley floor or from the valley floor back up to Glacier Point. My recommendation for the ultimate Yosemite hike starts at the peak overlook of Glacier Point and uses two of the park's epic trails to journey down to Curry Village. If you have the time, the energy, and the transportation for this 10-mile, 6-hour, one-way hike, there is no better way to immerse yourself in Yosemite than to start with the awe-inspiring views of the Panorama Trail and finish by hugging several of the park's famous waterfalls along the Mist Trail. Alternatively, you can create an out and back hike on the Panorama Trail by starting near Glacier Point and traveling down to the Illilua Bridge and experiencing amazing views of Half Dome, Vernal Fall, Nevada Fall, and Illouette Fall. This path takes a 1,350 foot drop in elevation, which you will of course need to climb back up when you complete the 5.2 mile out and back from Glacier Point. If you're adventurous, instead of turning around at the Illouette Bridge, you can travel another mile and a 300 foot climb to the spectacular Panorama Point, creating a seven mile out and back. From Yosemite Village, it is a quick, easy 1.2 mile stroll to see Yosemite Falls the tallest waterfall in North America. Best viewed in late spring and early summer, the streaming water drops over 2,400 feet from the top of the upper fall to the base of the lower fall. You'll have an opportunity for a small rock scramble to get close to the falls, or take a step back to catch a glimpse of upper, lower, and middle cascade of Yosemite Falls.
One of the best hikes within Yosemite is the trek to the top of Upper Yosemite Falls. But this 7.6 mile trail has over 3,200 feet of elevation gain and is not for the faint of heart. If you enjoyed the base of the falls and just want a better vantage point of the valley, you can start up the same Upper Yosemite Falls trail to the glorious Columbia Rock Overlook. This is a moderate 2.6 mile out and back hike. It is still steep, however, climbing 1,000 feet in elevation on the way to sweeping views of the Yosemite Valley. This is tough. A few more switchbacks. Here they come. The location of our overnight tents and bathroom facilities, Curry Village is a bustling area within Yosemite Valley where you can find bike rentals, a general store that includes pre-packaged ice cream, restaurants including breakfast. Meadow Grill for breakfast and a pizza deck for dinner, there's a coffee shop and even an ice rink in the wintertime. So this is Curry Village. This is our luxury accommodations. We're in one of these tents. I'll show you our tent. Do you see what the tents are like? This is how the door opens. And inside, this particular one, we got four beds, but we just paid for three people. There's a safe to put your personal belongings. Oh, we got towels up here. So you don't need to bring your own towels. There's a bunch of rules. We have no outlets. We have a little cubby hole that you can put some things. And we have one light in the middle of the tent. So I did invest in one of these. It's solar powered, but it's fully charged. And it has two ports right there for, uh, for USB ports for charging your cell phone. So that's our tent over there but I'm gonna find out where our closest bathhouse is. Right here, and I think I have a code. If it's not open, let's see if it's open. There's extra towels out front too. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. This was our view. Closer to Yosemite Falls is another busy community in the valley, Yosemite Village. There you can find the Ansel Adams Gallery, Yosemite Museum, the Visitor Center, they have their own general store, as well as Degnan's Kitchen, a surprisingly delightful quick service restaurant. For many, the top-rated hike in Yosemite is not the ascent up the infamous Half Dome. It's the Mist Trail that takes you alongside the iconic Vernal and Nevada Falls. While not monumentally difficult, this is still a strenuous hike. You have two options. You can ascend 1,300 feet on a four-mile out-and-back trek that takes you up nature's giant staircase to Vernal Falls. 318 foot waterfall that is so close to you that you'll be covered head to toe in water droplets. Or you can extend your hike to a 5.4 mile out and back that climbs an additional 800 feet to also reach Nevada Falls. This is a 600 foot waterfall that free falls for the first third of the drop, creating a turbulent whitewater. While both of these waterfalls flow year round, spring and early summer is best for viewing full flow.
Yosemite National Park did not disappoint and we look forward to our return someday. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe. Click to the left for more adventures.